If it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it can only mean one thing. Welcome to Cleveland, Ohio. It's game time in Cleveland as the crowd is filling up the Quicken Loans Arena. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. The next swing into this game is part of their continuing road trip. And, of course, Mr. Incredible. The team very excited about how he performed in the first game. He seemed to be clicking on all cylinders. Man, that trade is something that has just electrified this entire fan base, the players, the people working for the organization. Uh, they think it may be that piece of the puzzle necessary to finally get this team over the hump. Now let's send it down to David Aldridge standing by from the sidelines. David? Well, Kevin, Tristan Thompson is one of the elite offensive rebounders in the league. He said, for me, it's always see ball, get ball, and just bring the energy. And be that guy that when I check in, guys on the other team are like, oh, no, he's here tonight? That's my mentality. Thanks, D.A., and clearly Thompson knows his role on this team. Got to admire how hard he goes on the glass. Well, the NBA has some great advanced scouts who know how to help a team prepare for an opponent. When you play, Chris, what kind of information would you be given with a team that was coming up on the schedule or the game that night that was important for you? Well, wow, my rookie year, I remember the first time I got a scouting, uh, the, the playoff scouting report, and I had to understand how many times the player I was uh, playing against would shoot over his right shoulder as opposed to his left shoulder and the percentage of the times he liked it on the left box as opposed to the right box. And really just knowing the guys and understanding their habits. And so you really need that. It gives you confidence because, as I said, you can't check one player. It's just so hard to do. So what do you have to do? You have to check their tendencies so maybe you can beat him to the spot that he likes before he can because if he gets there, he's just going to destroy you. Scouting reports are everything to understand your opponent. and your opposing team. Did you keep, Chris, a, a mental notebook, or would you have a notebook that you would write in to keep track of these players, the guys you would face? I, I had a mental notebook. The teams would give us uh, physical notebooks, but I would just kind of read them and, right. and make my mental notes. You get to see guys so often that if you don't uh, kind of understand who a player is that night before you play them, it might be too late. <laughs> <laughs> so a look at our starters for the Knicks. Hardaway Jr. and Melo are the wings. Porzingis and Hernan Gomez are together down low. Shot. And it's Neil Aquina in at the point. Free throw good, Jordan. And so it's New York with it. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Away from home, you got to execute. And, and they did that flawlessly. Yeah, and they also controlled the pace of the game for most of the night. Outstanding effort in a hostile environment. Uh, you know there's no way that's going to get blocked. He just has to rise up and drain. The drive by James. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Look, Thompson's getting after it. A highly skilled offensive rebounder who crashes with power. On defense, the Cavaliers. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the D. And I feel like the defense was one step behind all night. I mean, they never made the adjustments to string together a few stops. Some tough D in the paint. Getting between him and the bucket and stopping the easy dudes. Yeah, and Kevin Love played the first six years of his NBA career with the Minnesota Timberwolves, posting gaudy numbers. I mean, but he never was able to guide them to the playoffs. He was more than ready to join the big three in Cleveland. Here's Neil Aquino. 14 points from him the last game against Indiana. And it was not a one-man show. That was the best part. He had just as good a game with his passing as he did with his scoring. Nice shot by Thompson. Look, this is where Thompson feels comfortable. Shooting very close to the rim. He's efficient. Outside Hardaway. New York moving the ball around. Mila Kina. No good from outside. Cavaliers have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. The drive by Jordan. Thomas kicks to love. The feed to Jordan. Here's the three. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Six points for Jordan. And James is an all-around talent, a fantastic passer who actively looks to get his guys going. Now here's Porzingis against Indiana. He was really on his game. 
The shot by Anthony, no good. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. <laughs> the best laid plans, right? Well, I tell you right there, though, that's one they'll take every single time. And here are the Knicks now. After the miss from Jordan. And stolen by James. Jordan kicks to LeBron. Rzingis with the steal. Hardaway against Jordan. Pass to Nilakina. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. They set the pick. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Uh, off target with was what? A pretty good look from mid-range. And Teron Lou thrown right into the fire as the head coach of the Cavaliers, and he led them to a title in his rookie year as a head coach. Yeah, it, it was a whirlwind, but he's so organized. He knew the changes he wanted to make. Coming in and leading a championship team, he was up for the task. Here's Hardaway. Following the basket by LeBron James. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Zizic is checked in for Thompson. Crowder comes in for Kevin Love. J.R. Smith's checked in for James. And Andrew Harrison subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. And then for New York, Felicio's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Noah comes in for Perzingis. And Spencer Dinwiddie subbed in for Nila Kina. The first free throw is good. Kuzminskis, he's checked in for Carmelo Anthony. And so Jordan nails both of them. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Knicks trail by four. 59 seconds left in the first quarter. Kuzminskis, the pass to Felicio. Here's the screen. Here's Hardaway. And he sinks the shot coming off the strong pick. Hardaway has got eight. The Cavaliers have gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. The drive by Jordan, and he drops in the layup off the glass. He has them really. They haven't had an answer for him this quarter. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Dinwiddie kicks to Kuzminskis. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Uh, not quite airtight defense right there, but his release was a little bit off on the jump. No good from Jordan. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. So it's the Cavaliers now. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And of course, as we've always seen with LeBron James, it's not just about the numbers, but his tremendous, tremendous leadership. I put in all the pressure on me to, to be better and come through for my teammates. This is the position I put myself in. It's the position I put our team in. And as a leader and the guy that goes out there and make things happen, um, that's the way it's going to be. Well, that there is straight talk. from, And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Felicio. Porzingis comes in for Joakim Noah. Carmelo Anthony is checked in for Kuzminskis. And it's Neil Aquina in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And New York looking at who they've got. Porzingis and Hernan Gomez are together down low. Then it's Anthony and it's Dinwiddie in at the two. For Cleveland, they have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. The first one falls. 
Well, so many teams rely on the pick and roll and run it with big man. Chris, which big man do you feel does a great job of running the pick and roll right now? Well, I think you have to go up there to uh, Lob City and you have to look at Blake Griffin, the way that he can handle, stop and pop, knock the shot down. But also, uh, if you go for a pump fake, you will get dunked on with him flying down that lane. <laughs> Anthony Davis, the fact that Davis can step back, hit that jump shot, but also attack the basket. He's another one that can do it. And then Tristan Thompson, when he has it rolling and he gets that ball from the middle off of LeBron pick and roll, he's great at finding the shooters, Kevin Love, or another shooter in the corner, but also he'll dunk on you with the best of them. So those three guys come to mind when they talk about finishing strong on the pick and roll. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Mr. Incredible in their last matchup against the Bulls was terrific. He scored 40 points, and he did not miss a whole lot from the field. The basket must have seemed pretty big. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it, and he took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you, guys. Could you believe that performance? Wow. I mean, it was really something to see. Yeah, he showed everybody just how special he is when he is on his game. Oh, yeah. Once he got them on the ropes, he never let them off the hook. It was full-speed energy basketball at his greatest. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free-throw line. It's on Przingis. The Cavaliers shooting their seventh free-throw attempt here. The Knicks making a switch here. O'Quinn's checked in. And as successful as LeBron James has been, a max contract, all the endorsements, everything else, he's made his mark with his philanthropy. Well, Kevin, my favorite part about LeBron is what he's done off the court. I mean, two and a half million dollars to the Muhammad Ali Museum. Think about this. This might be one of the greatest philanthropic moves, in my opinion, by an athlete. Forty million to pay for the college tuition of 1,000 Ohio school children. I mean, he's affecting the world in ways much larger than basketball. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Oh, oh no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. That one misses. Here's Nilakina. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Cavaliers lead by four. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, scoring has not been an issue. How are you getting those looks that you want? I appreciate it, DA. You know, my, my, my teammates have done a great job of, of finding me whenever I get a gap in space. Uh, you know, I, I know as, as long as I keep moving, I keep hustling, you know, they'll set me up in a position to score, and, uh, you know, fortunately, I've been able to get a few to, to fall in my way the first half. Well, it's been more than luck. You've done a great job. See you in the second half. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. And Mr. Incredible has been sensational. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. Terrific first half on offense. This is how you draw it up. We'll see if they can maintain that efficiency going forward. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court for Cleveland, the two stars, LeBron and Love, making up the forward positions. Isaiah Thomas out there with Jordan, and it's Thompson in at the five. Now here's James following the miss by Porzingis. Here's Jordan, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Let's now pause to take a look at the scoring breakdown between the front and back court of tonight's contests for the Cavaliers. And it's been guard play, which really has shouldered the burden offensively here. They'd like a bit more production from the front court, but in the meantime, this backcourt has kept them in the game. And so Jordan nails both of them. 
Knicks trail by six. Screen by Porzingis. Dishes it to Anthony. Low block shot. Second chance shot. And that's two points on the layup. Anthony's got five now. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Here's Jordan. That's in there. Love with the assist. And that's now 20 points for Jordan. And the double clutch layup in that situation, that's just him playing to the crowd, guys. For New York, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Perzingis with a screen on Jordan. There's a good screen. That doesn't go either for Perzingis. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Thomas dishes to Jordan. Back to Thomas. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. The league's long-distance bombers are setting their sights on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. You take a look at Jordan. He's a tremendous shooter, and he's going to get his share of votes, but he'll probably be on the outside of this year's three-point contest looking in. And I'm sure he thought he'd be higher in the voting than, than he is, but, I mean, it's hard to separate all these great shooters we have in the league today. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, and I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. Here's Kuzminskis after the made shot from Jordan. Clock at six. Taken away. And here comes Smith leading the fast break. The shot, no good. And New York the other way now. Last time they met in New York. Yeah, and they picked up the win in their last game against this club, and really it was a parade to the free throw line. Incredibly aggressive. Drew a lot of fouls on the other teams. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Outside Hardaway. There's a screen. The Knicks shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. And the potential that Nila Kina has is really cause to be exciting. A lengthy point guard who can run the offense well and if he bulks up, look out for this guy. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Thomas has checked in. Here's Nilakina. Five points in the game. Here's Anthony. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. And Melo's jumper is pure. You, you feel like it's going in every time he gets a clean look at the rim. Some players forget to box out occasionally. He's a rarity who welcomes the contact and really takes pride in getting great position for every rebound. Outside Hardaway. Shoots off the step back. And again, it's New York. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. A lot of times your defense is your offense, your offense is your defense. This is poor decision making right here. You can't let them have that shot. Also might have been a lack of effort. Six second difference between shot and game clock. And they pick up two. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Pick by O'Quinn. The Knicks have made three of five free throw attempts. First free throw is good. And New York making a change here. So one for two that time at the stripe. And a wide open look for Jordan. Buried from outside. But I don't know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I think he got it off in time, the, re the replay leaving little doubt. 
Now they're going to switch the call. There is no doubt, and looking at the replay, that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the flow, but when you have it there, you got to use it. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Just one quarter left in regulation. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. The Cavaliers leading by eight. And New York looking at who they've got. Mello and Porzingis are the duo at forward. Hardaway is out there with Nila Kina, and it's Hernan Gomez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. The Knicks shooting straight 49% from the field. In the corner, Hardaway with it. Hits it from three-point range. Hardaway has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Knicks. Jordan kicks to Thomas. On the wing, James. Pass to Thomas. The screen from Thompson. Feeds to James. Thompson left side. Shot clock at six. Outside for Jordan. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Jordan's got 13 points in the second half. One minute now into this fourth quarter. New York calls timeout. Mr. Incredible with a strong contribution so far in this one. Wow, it's time for them to switch up their defense on because what they've been doing so far is not working. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, guys, I had a chance to listen in on Jeff Hornacek's huddle with his players. He knows they struggled at the free throw line, but he actually looked at the positive. He said, if we continue to get to the foul line, good things are going to happen, but we have to keep getting there. Maybe that'll take the heat off him a little. Here's Persingas. They get it back. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Thompson with the bucket. That was all about the assist. Great pass to set up the shot. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Here's Nilakina. Outside Hardaway. And stolen by Jordan. Thomas gets a wide-open look. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Anthony up on top. James covering. Pass to Nilakina. Kicks it to Hardaway. Just five on the clock. Przingis. That doesn't go either for Przingis. Well, his stroke has not been what they needed it to be, but looks like they're going to keep going to him. And James with the basket on the assist by Jordan. Jordan's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Nilakina. He's guarded by Thomas. Brzingis kicks to Anthony. Over LeBron. Count that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut down to eight on the bucket from Carmelo Anthony. And Melo, a skilled shooter, if he gets a clean look, you expect him to make it. Here's Jordan. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 on the game. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. And defensively, you know he's feeling good right now. And, and, and as the opposing team, you better adjust your scheme accordingly. Out to Hardaway. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Hardaway has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for New York. The Cavaliers leading by seven. James, the pass to Jordan. 141 left in the game. He feeds it to Thompson. Second shot opportunity, and again it will fall. Ask a good there from Jordan. Jordan's got six here in this quarter. I mean, he is just demoralizing his opponent right now on the backboard. They didn't want anything to do with him on that possession. Almost like they were just giving up on the play. His dominance on the boards is really putting them on their heels. They want no part of this man out 
meter na. Cleveland's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And the dunk by Jordan. Oh, the assist from Thomas. Finding the open man. Nice decision offensively. Knicks trail by eight. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. Outside Hardaway. New York moving the ball around. Anthony dishes to Hardaway. Can't cash in from the high post. Oh, he gets the shot he was looking for and he just can't bury. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Here's Persingas. No good on the shot. Good D by Thompson. Or Cleveland, they've gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. James, no good. Uh, the D pretty much taking that possession off, but the shot's off target with nobody near. And the Knicks miss again. Here's Jordan. Kicks it out to James. Good on the triple. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. I'll tell you what, the energy in this arena, you can feel it. Well, a well-earned victory feeding off the energy of this hometown crowd really all night. Brzingis kicks to Anthony. Now the pass to Hernan Gomez. Just four to shoot. Here's Neil Aquina. Great D that time from Thomas. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends. Of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olden. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later. Damn, let's go, baby. DJ, fantastic game. Thanks. Listen, Kevin and the guys want to talk to you back at the studio right, right this way. Let's do it. Hey, Shaq here. I love how you were able to take control of the game with your score. Was this a barbecue chicken alert kind of night? Shaq, man, it was a barbecue chicken night mixed in with some yams, maybe Ooh. some cornbread oh. and some pie, too, because oh. guess what? I was straight feasting on that defense. I mean, when I get in the zone like that, there isn't anyone, anyone in the league that can stop me. Now, feel free to quote me on that, Shaq. Ernie, back to you. Ernie, order me a pizza.